together. Namo Shaki Muni Buddha, Namo Shaki Muni Buddha, Namo Shaki Muni Buddha. Mm, that's good. Uh, okay, well, can you uh, get the um, camel and uh, lead them to do the one minute meditation? Go on. Yes. Okay, go ahead and get it. One minute, you set your time and so down. Inhale and exhale to the no, okay? You count one, right? Kitten, you and tell them what to do. Keep your back straight, your neck straight, close your eyes. Inhale and exhale through your nose. You count one, you keep going. Then when you see your monkey, my? Don't chase it. And if you lose track of your counting, start from one. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's good. Turn on your webcam, everyone. Emily, Ken, Vivian, Jaden, all right. Okay, go ahead. Go. Show them the timer. Go. Are you ready, Kevin? Yeah. Okay, all right. You count one, two, three. All right, close your eye and sit still. Okay, call their name go. Go ahead and call them. You can call more than one person. Let's send that. Anthony. Dragon. Anthony. Dragon. Justin. And uh, Nina. I didn't hear her. How many go? Fourteen. Good. All right. Thank you. Today we will uh, let let. Yesterday we watched a good movie, but we have enough time to uh, to uh, finish the movie. But uh, we did not have time to um, to summarize the story. Now you know what I think it's a it's 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 really good movie. We will uh, let you see one more time, but uh, I will cut it uh, make it short. Uh, Ken, Ken, are you there? Oh uh, yeah. Can you uh, read the subtitle and uh, and uh, summarize at the end? Oh, I'm doing homework right now. You're yeah, homework right now. Ethan. Ethan, are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. You want to uh, read the subtitle for me and uh, summarize at the end? Um, I don't know if I can read the subtitles because my Wi-Fi is really slow, but I could try summarizing it. Okay, how about uh, Victor? Victor uh, uh, Tudor, can you do that for me? Uh, read it. Yeah. 
Read All right, let, let me go ahead and move it to the bigger screen and there you go. All right, gotcha. All right, get ready. All right. Ooh, but beautiful glass and sunglass everywhere. All right. Would you like to see the relics of the Bodhisattva who once undertook ascetic practice? We would all like to see that. World honored one. You are respected and worshipped by all sentient beings. But why do you worship this pagoda? Ananda, could you please open this pagoda? Yes, world honored one. Oh, please bring it to me. He lagged out. World honored one, there are Buddhist relics of wonderful colors inside this box. Now you can worship these relics. They are the result of incredible achievements in discipline, meditation, and wisdom. They are extremely rare, best in the field, in which sow the seeds of good fortune. I have been able to obtain the Supreme Bodhi quickly because of the story behind these relics. I worship them to grow, show gratitude to, to, for the help they gave me. Now I shall tell you the story so you can resolve your own doubts. You should listen carefully. We are happy to listen. Once upon a time, there was a king called Maharda. His country was prosperous and strong. The people there all followed Buddhism and lived rich and happy lives. The queen and her three princesses, kind, humble, and thrifty, deeply respected by people of the country. Thank you, our queen. Whoa. Shush, shush, don't worry, calm down, calm down. That is well done. <laughs> the princes are going to visit the mountain and are waiting outside. Please, let them in. You can all come in now. Good morning, mom. Go and have a great time with your others. Oh, and remember to be careful. Yes, mom. Mom, you don't look so well today. I'm just a bit tired. Shall I stay with you here? No, don't worry, Sattva. Go ahead, but don't be gone for too long. Yes, mom. Splash, splash. Okay. 
We will never even see such wonderful scenery in the palace. Yes, it's so beautiful. Even though, isn't it, brother? Although the other creatures aren't aware of their coexistence, they actually benefit each other. Together, they have created such a huge and unique world. How incredible is it? Stop us saying strange things again. <laughs> hey. Look, what giant berries over there. Wow, we must collect some for mom. Yum, yum. Delicious. Satva, there are lots in the back. Hurry, go pick us up. Oh. I don't think there are any more berries left. We've got enough. Oh, which one's speaking? Which did it take a breast and then go back? Mm -hmm. The bamboo forest is so gloomy and scary. I hope no ferocious animals become and hurt us. If there are ferocious animals, I wouldn't fear for myself. But don't worry, mom and dad will grieve if we to die. So what do you think, Saba? <laughs> Dear brothers, I don't think there's any difference place. In other words, oh my gosh, to be there are all beautiful places in which deities live. <gasps> that was fast. Only delight and appreciation for magnificent nature. Aha, uh -huh. Sutva is really brave. Ah, ah, look! Scared. Oh, run away! There are ferocious animals here! Wait, that tigress doesn't look well. Oh. It's so sick and thin, it must have no food for a long time. It doesn't seem, oh, what the, uh, perhaps because she has to take care of her seven tiger cubs and tend to be unable to look for food any for herself, if the tigers cannot find enough food to eat, then starvation might force her to devour her own cubs. <sighs> what is their staple diet? Could we offer her them some berries to satisfy her hunger now? Flesh and blood are the staple foods of tigers and leopards. They cannot survive on anything else. If the tigress dies, the seven cubs will not be able to survive. Uh, how can we get some fresh blood and flesh to save them? Who would be willing to make such great sacrifice for them? I don't know. Nothing is difficult for sacrificing one's own life. You gotta change their voices. Let's see here. <clears throat> I've had a whale of a time today. Let's go home and tell the princess that we'll be able to return to the palace. Yes, your majesty. Hurry and let the princess know. Yes, okay. Run, run, run. <gasps> what are they? Your Majesty, the princess must have wandered far. I have not been able to find them. Mm, never mind. I should go back to the palace now. Bye bye. You should catch up with me once you have found them. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Brothers, our wisdom has been veiled. Due to the attachment we have to our bodies, has led to an oh, well, and thus we have shy away from helping the brother. Oh, great compassion, and are already ready to sacrifice themselves for the sake of others. What do you think they would do if they were in this situation? I have absolutely no idea. What is the amount of oh gosh? Oh, over the hundreds of years, thousands of years of cycle reincarnation, the body is the only capsule subject to decay and death. Why can we sacrifice it for the sake of saving others and let go of our attachment? Oh, wait, what? How admirable the mother bodhisattvas are. But how can it be so easy for people to sacrifice their lives? Okay, I got their voices now. This is fast. The most we can do is feel sad for the tigers. Let's go, brothers. We can't do anything here to help. Zatva. Maha Zatva. Isn't this the right time for me to sacrifice my life? Oh, the, this body is as fragile as a bubble. It is the habitat of numerous microbes, composed of blood vessels, muscles, flesh, skin, bones, and a brain. It produces various impure excitements and is subject to various diseases. It is disgusting. And in the end, it will decompose and be part of the earth, forming a habitat for more microbes. Impermanence is the nature of all life. Life is like a dream and an illusion. Everything changes swiftly. Birth, childhood, youth, adulthood, and old age happens in a blink of an eye. 
The cycle of birth, aging, illness, and death and reincarnation is inescapable. Ultimately, what is left is a pile of bones, dust, and then nothing. Even the most beautiful lady will eventually become nothing but a pile of bones. All the animals, birds or beasts, weak or ferocious, will have the same end after leading their busy lives. Even the beautiful and rare flowers and trees will not be able to escape from the fate of becoming dust. I shall abandon such impermanent body Pleasure, anger, sorrow, and joy in this world are all transient. I shall abandon these impermanent and annoying emotions. I shall abandon this body that brings all worries and use it to practice one supreme good deed. I shall liberate sentient beings. Oh, with, with it, oh, would it be the boat of Greek? Oh, oh gosh, oh, oh, shit of birth and death. I shall end all troubles in this earthly world, accumulate numerous pieces of wisdom, and attain the wonderful Dharmakaya, and thus offer all sentient beings boundless Dharma joy. Wow, that was a lot of thinking. Brothers, you go ahead. I am going to give the berries to the tigress, and then I'll catch up with you. Perhaps eat the berries, and they'll be better than nothing. Whoa. All right. Bye-bye. Brothers, yo, yo, I'm looking at mom and dad from now on. Okay. Whoa. Pretty lights. Ooh. The mom feels a disturbance in the force. For the sake of all sentient beings of the Dharma realms, I resolve to attain the supreme Bodhi. I shall bring forth step over, abandon his body that ordering people is so fond of, oh, worries of suffering that what wise people aspire to achieve. I shall rescue all sentient beings in the three realms from the bitter ocean and allows them to live in bliss. He's just going to lay down right there. Oh, my heart. What's wrong, your majesty? Nothing. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nay. <gasps> Nay. Roar. You have already suffered so much from hunger, and now I have made you scared, and you do not dare eat me. I believe I could fly. I believe I could reach and touch the sky. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Prince, please do not sacrifice your life. I'm gonna suck a girl. The tiger is so weak that she has no strength left to eat me. It's a shame that there's no knife or sword around here. I shall offer my flesh to you and your cubs so that you won't die from hunger. Oh, 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 ew. Rumble, rumble. Oh, oh disturbance. Oh, disturbance. Oh, they all feel the disturbance. Your Majesty, where are the princess? Do not worry, they'll be back shortly. Sniff, why are you crying? I had a bad dream in which my beloved youngest son was lost. Don't worry, I'll look. Uh, let's go and look for them together. 
Deva, can you feel that? The sun has become dim and the divine flowers are dropping down like raindrops. Could this be signs of Satva sacrificing his life? He showed great sympathy towards the hungry tigers and spoke in a very compassionate tone. He must have sacrificed himself for the sake of saving them. <laughs> Run. Ugh. Oh, I've been saved. Oh, so sacrificing one's life. To, oh, what an incredible. Maha Bosi Satva. He smiles. Run. Oh. Oh, no. Satva! You, Satva, you are the most beloved by mom and dad. Why have you left your parents and brothers? <laughs> what shall we ask mom when we ask what happens? Oh, oh he's saying something. Oh, oh cry. Oh, oh. Yes, sacrifice his life for the sake of saving the tigress. Yeah. What's wrong for my son to be so benevolent? Why was it not me who died first? Madame, such as saved his life to benefit sentient beings. This is not a disaster, but a blessing for him. Whoa. Oh, flying. Oh. 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 Ah. <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> yeah. Ananda, this is the store. Oh, wait, this is behind the Buddhist relics of the Mani Sattva, the place that was Via Boo Forest at the time. Oh, okay. I was Prince Sattva. Ananda, I have not attained Buddhahood at that time, but I was only an ordinary person Ooh, that resulted in desire, hatred, and ignorance. However, I was still able to sacrifice my life in order to rescue other sentient beings and liberate them from the cycle of reincarnation. I have now attained its Buddhahood. Okay. I shall rescue and liberate all sentient beings who have any form of connection with me. And from the frustration and the cycle of reincarnation. <sighs> okay. Oh. Blow up. It's just two guys fighting on a bridge for no reason. Okay. Okay. Oh. We... Sacrificing the oh, earth, moving the heaven and earth, the Buddha practice of the Dharma and the Bodhisattva perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Due to his great compassion towards all beings, he cannot bear to see their <laughs> sufferings. <laughs> Swears to rescue them from their sufferings yeah. and offers them temporary and everlasting happiness. And offers the oh, uh, thus today we can see this incredible deed by offering the by of offering by the Buddha. Oh. <laughs> Buddha sutras predict that the world today is a full was a world full of keen oppression, and the people do not believe cause and effect, which lead to more greedy and anxiety with five kinds of poisons. The environment of the earth on which oh, is faced with challenges. Okay. Okay. Competition and conflict among people lead to the fighting between groups of people and nations. 
wars occur frequently, which brings the irreversible destroy, destruction to the world. Human society is facing critical crisis and tests. While people are longing for freedom and peace in the inner heart, if we can follow the Buddha's teachings, appreciate the Buddha's compassion, and learn the Buddha's spirit of benefiting others by reflecting on our self nature, giving up evils and doing good deeds to develop the power of meditation and wisdom from our self nature, <gasps> we will discover the source of spiritual happiness. Even if we understand only some principles and have a bit of control of our behavior and develop a little kindness and the conflicts will be held back from spreading so that the world will become more peaceful and beautiful. Whoa. All right. That was a lot of lag. Either that was lagging or that was extremely fast. Oh, okay, but I got the idea. Uh, so, do I summarize the story now? Yeah, please do. All righty then. So, the entire story, the Buddha decided to go ahead and tell all the his followers a little story. A little story in which how a prince, known as Prince Sattva, sacrificed his own life in the greater good of benefiting other lives. You see... One a day, while the princess were to go outside on a little trip, because, you know, that's what people do, go on trips. And on that little trip, they saw a mother tiger and her seven cubs, or baby tigers. Now, all but one of the brothers thought, man, we should leave them alone. They're ferocious tigers in which can defeat us and eat us and blah, I, I like my life. But Safa here comes along and goes, they look thin, they look frail, and they look like that she, the mother tiger would result in eating her own babies just to keep herself alive. That's not right. And so I should probably help them. So, but they only had berries at the time. They, they had nothing that would actually feed them. The only other thing that would feed them is well, themselves. And so all of them goes, all right, let's ignore it. Let, let's just go back. We'll go back home. But Sattva on the way goes, no, you guys go. I'll see if I can feed them those berries. And so they go. And Sattva goes, all right, I tricked them. I actually was going to sacrifice my own life in order to feed those tigers. And so that's what he does. He attempts to go ahead and end his own life, giving his own body for the tigers so they can live. Now, that's exactly what he did. And he does succeed in it. Uh, the tigers became well fed and Sattva passed on. He was then later reincarnated into the one we know as the Buddha, the God, the is it is it Gautama Buddha? Is it same Buddha? Same Buddha. The Buddha that was telling the story was Sattva in, in his reincarnated form. But in reality, the whole story part was Sattva sacrificed his life for the benefit of others after realizing life is impermanent. Mm. So what did we learn from this story then? Now, I think I can probably say this for everyone. There's a lot of things you can learn from this. One of the things you did not learn from this is kill yourself to help others. Don't go that far, please, but help others. Mm. Don't act so selfishly. For you see, all the other two, the other two brothers, they acted so selfish. They didn't want to help those tigers. They didn't want to help the tiger mother. They didn't want to help the cubs. They only wanted to keep themselves happy. They didn't realize the suffering that others were, were having. For example, the tigers were having around them. But Sattva here decided to actually go ahead and help them. He did a selfless act by putting himself up to help others. Not to, you, you, for you guys, if anyone else is going through the same troubles and hardships or they need the kind of support and help from others, might as well offer that. Or you can spread their, your happiness for others because it's better for everyone to be happy than only you. Don't kill yourself. That's not good. You guys want to stay alive because that's pretty good. But it's the meaning behind it that counts. 
Yeah. That's good. That's good. Thank you. So we are running out of time, but uh, very good. So yeah, don't go that far, but at least you can uh, always ready to help others. Mayhem, you understand, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, tomorrow we have the booty class, so you can come and join us. All right? Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, Kathleen, tell them what should they do when they go to the break room? You should keep your camera on and you should respect your tutor. Okay, and listen to uh, respond when they ask, right? Okay, go, go, on, go ahead. 